fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So, before we get into this video, man, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all the long way and tuning in the way you tune in and how you tune in, because you ain't got to, but you did. You're here with me. All right. Now, this is an eight minutes with Nick video, but this is simply about Glorilla and a lot of the women in this world. Now, this was on her recent interview on... Um, the Breakfast Club, and you know, they copyright, so I'm not, if it ain't on Shade Room, which I don't know, y'all let me know if it's on Shade Room. If it's not, I can't use the clip. But what I will say is Glorilla said that she has never orgasm from the, uh, what we gonna call it? We gonna call it peen right now, from, from, from the peen, okay? Now, I simply wanna talk about this, right? This is going to be eight minutes of me just shooting the shit with y'all. So, you know, just, just talk to me. But listen, it's a lot of women out there who have not experienced an orgasm from the, the peen. Now, she did say she has, you know, gotten orgasms from head, but has not gotten orgasms from the peen. And majority of the women that's in my comments right here probably will say the same thing. And please do not type in none of these words that I'm saying y'all keep these words very very PG and then you right I'm gonna call it lumba ain't coming from the lumba now I have a um a argument with this whole not coming from the lumba shit because sometimes it's him but then sometimes it's women too now I feel as though a lot of men aren't lasting these days you know what i'm saying they going and they not going long you know i don't know what they doing before they get to it i don't know if you just you just popping like that sis i don't know if your water is just flowing fluently you know what i'm saying but what i am gonna say is my boy can't stay in there too long now is he wrong for not being able to stay in there too long hey because it ain't like like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know if you can control being in something warm and good and can't, and, and, and not, you know, coming, you know, to, to the, coming to the, to the, I gotta, I gotta figure out my verbiage for this, but not coming fast. You know what I'm saying? So that's one argument with it because I mean, sis, if you popping like that, I mean, shit, it is what it is. But my problem with men is, they don't even try to fix it after like you didn't come friend. And that's the part that I don't understand. It's like, all right, I'm doing my thing. This shit popping. Oh my God. My lumbar's knocking. I gotta come. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, he all over the place. And you like didn't come. So I honestly am starting to blame y'all too, because I don't feel like y'all taking control of the situation. Like a lot of y'all like, okay, let me clean myself up and go fix some dinner. Why are you cleaning up and going to fix dinner? No, lay his ass down. Lay his ass down is what I feel like y'all should do. Lay him down. Put something on top of that thing to make sure nothing going to come out of there to uh uh give you a child. You get what I'm saying? And friend, what you're going to have to do is take over. I'm tired of you crying and not coming and then coming to us and breaking lesbian hearts and shit. Y'all knew I was going to get to it. I didn't want to make this a whole conversation on lesbians because that's just absolutely biased. But I just, quite frankly, I mean, y'all know we do it better. Where's the argument there? But the thing is, some women not even making y'all, you know, do what y'all need to do. So I'm not going to go all biased on y'all and just say lesbians do it better. I'm going to say this. Sis, if you want to uh, come to 
uh, what we gonna call it? Come to the pearly gates, friend. If you wanna do that, you're gonna have to make that happen yourself. You're gonna have to get on top. You're gonna have to get on top. You're gonna have to get that thing back right, is what you're gonna have to do. He got to get back on salute. Hello? And you're gonna have to get on top. And you're gonna have to ride that thing until you come to the pearly gates. And if that's torture for him, then oh well. Oh well. This is not a time for you to be worried about how he feeling. He don't give a damn about how you feel. When he coming, you know what I'm saying, to the pearly gates. He just coming, you know what I'm saying? And then looking at you like, God damn, that shit good. Mm-hmm, lay down, nigga. Y'all got to start treating them like, you know what I'm saying, they the women, lay your ass down. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Do that for me, yeah. Nigga going to be like, what? What you mean? Lay down. You already got you, right? Okay, it's my turn. Do you get what I'm saying, ladies? At the end of the day, if you're dealing with a selfish man and he wants to, to be the one to come to the pearly gates first, that's fine. Come on. Come on to the pearly gates. But after you done, it's my turn, nigga. That's my day. <laughs> Mine. That's my lumber. My lumber, okay? And you got to make sure now, you got to get him back up. Whatever you got to do to get him back up, you do that. And let me tell you something. Get your ass on top there, friend. Hmm? Get on top of there, and you handle your business. And if you got to add a toy on to it, friend, add a toy. Y'all quit being scared of these toys. Get you a toy. And give you, get yourself an additive on while you on top. You get what I'm saying? You put, you put the, the toy on one of your pressure points. You get what I'm saying? Y'all listen to me now. You get, put, put the toy on your pressure point while you using his lumber. You got to use him. He gonna be hard. He ain't got no choice. And if he ain't, well, friend, you gonna have to get you one and put it on the wall now. Or find you a damn lesbian. But if he can't stay up, that's fine. Get you another toy. Put that thing on the wall. Back it up on the wall. I am dead ass serious. Because I'm sick of y'all not coming off penetration. This, this is ridiculous. This is beyond me. I'm, we sitting there having a conversation yesterday. And y'all like, yeah, Nick, I ain't never experienced that. Excuse me? <laughs> How old are you, friend? What you mean? Y'all 40 years old and ain't experienced that? Nah, y'all settling. Y'all here settling for that bad time. Now, this is only supposed to be eight minutes, and that's all I'm giving. I'm trying to get y'all some games so y'all can get right. Get yourselves together. I love y'all. All right? Get it together. You got the option. He he go he go going to come to the pearly gates. Let him know that the door's still open for you. So you got to go to the next level of the pearly gates. Lay your ass down. Make sure he stay on salute. Keep that lumber alive. Hop on top. Get your additive. Put it on one pressure point and ride that horse until you come to the pearly gates. And guess what? If he don't come that second time, oh, the fuck well. You made him come the first time. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> he already came, friend. But anyway... I am done with this video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I am done with this conversation as well. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.